Oh, I'm um, in Dartford. It's Travels with Jason F. I'm going to do a little tour around Dartford, see what shops and pubs and restaurants they've got. I've been here probably about five, six times over my lifetime. And you see behind me the train station, but I didn't come by train, I came by bus. It's actually better to come by train, it only takes you about 15 minutes by bus, it's about two and a half hours. So it's a fair journey by bus, so I recommend train. Anyway, let's go and find what we got in what they got in Dartford. Just by me, you will see a little complex. I don't actually know what's there. I don't think I've never been there. Uh, but behind me, that is by the bridge, it's just near the train station, this is where all the bus stops are. So that's where you catch the buses for both ways. But like I said, I would recommend train. But I don't want to get over there now and see what they got. Okay, I can see they've got Asta Living, uh, carpets, TK Maxx and Madeleines. So far, here's a thing. As you see, I'm back where I was. You can see TK Maxx. This way, there's a Costa and a bar store. Okay, bar store is dead, <laughs> so that's closed down. Uh, right, here we are. A little bit of a complex. Uh, there are Bob. Being here with big one actually over there. TK Maxx, so I won't be bothering to go into. So yeah. We're going this way now. Well uh, look over there you see a pizza. So that's the first restaurant. Alright, let's cross the road. And you see there's some restaurants here. South Asian Island shop. Uh, let's cross over. Try not to get one over actually, to tell you the truth. So you can see there's a curry house over there. Not that I'm sure I would like a curry. Uh, Greek tavern here. Hairdressers. Uh, this is the back of beyond, really. I would have said. If you're the first time being here, I wouldn't bother. That was an interesting news agent. So there were a lot of American drinks in there, American food, and Australian stuff. So interesting. We'll have to go back and buy some more later. Now I'm coming into the high street, or coming into the town centre now. And it's a little bit, you know. Got a charity shop there, and it's open. So I'm gonna go in. And we've got something there. Ah. Going into the high street now. So anyway, let's see what we got over here. We are in the high street now. Uh, there's another cherry shop there. A pub slash restaurant there. And over there we'll be going in a bit. But first we're going this way. Fish and chip shop there. And our uh, charity shop there. Little shopping centre here and a McDonald's. Little bit of a shopping area down there, mainly food and a couple of bits and pieces. If you go down here, you will see some basic hairdressers and that. Some of the footage didn't come out, so I'm gonna have to re redo it. it. Does mean I've got to edit it that other one. So I've gone into these charity shops now. Uh, like I said, that's the pub slash restaurant. And they're doing the 25 cent offer all for this October. So if you're in up in Dartford anytime this month, go in there. You can do 25 percent off any day, so it says. Look. 
Let's see. Look, can we sent off per person every day. So if you're in Dartford any day in October, you get 25% off your meal. Right. So you come out of here. You know big shopping centre, but it's not as big as Stonebrook. Yeah. So like I said. There's a road that goes back right there. There's a big mall. You can see that. And another charity shop. So we're long there. Darford's quite quick actually, I think. It's not a lot to really look at. So I sometimes have a market where I'm walking. So you've got that. And you've got the old charity shop. So I'll have a look at that on the way back. And we've got W.A. Smith. Rainham. Obviously the Peacock's gone around here. And that's the shopping centre here. Awkward. Oh, I can't say it properly. And obviously a casino. But well, Dartford's quite close to London really, so... And you can get here on your Ulster card. You can. Cash converters. There's a Wimpy. I mean, there's quite a lot of little uh, cafes and restaurants here. Don't see many pubs. Don't see many signs saying it's here one way or not. Uh, there also is a park quite close. So if you're here you're in this nice day, you can pop into the park. What well, I will show you briefly, and I'm going that way. And like I said, there's lots of coffee shops here. Seems to be the trade for these days, coffee shops. And there is a Chinese buffet place, but I don't know if that's open or shut. And you've got a Turkish restaurant, right there. There was the old church in front of me. And up that way is the park, which I will take you to in a minute. Alright, let's have a look in this charity shop. See if I find anything. But obviously I won't be taking you in there. Alright, let's go. Well, I couldn't get into uh, that charity shop, but it's shut. So I'm open two days a week at the moment. Thursdays and Saturdays. And I came on a Wednesday. So it's not open. But we should go this way and show you the park. Just the entrance of it. Obviously they're doing some work. They've actually got open steering there that I may do another time. So the entrance to the park is quite close. Or used to be. See it starts with the bow of museum. Let's see what it says. Probably close the car, oh, no, seeing it's open. So I could actually buy those Wednesdays and Sundays. So obviously, Wednesday's not a good day to come to Dartford. A bit of a hit and miss today. Here's the entrance to the park. It is. And you can see. First World War monument. Uh, probably also got a Second World War on. Uh, so there's an entrance to the park. Let's have a look closer look at this, shall we? Yeah, like I said, added other things. Quite cool. And there's a there's an entrance to the park. So I will just go in there a little bit. Just a little bit, I won't go in. Quite a big park, I remember. I remember he's going here with somebody. I won't mention their names. And a bit further, and you carry on, it's quite leads on. Anyway, that's enough of the park. I don't really fancy going down memory lane. And I'll see you. The library's here as well, what is open.
as you can see. So, let's go back into the town. There is the RFPCA chow shop right there. So I'm gonna have a nose when I get there, but I mind the roads because I'm on the roads. They're doing, a, they're doing it, making it up quite nice. It's like they're spending a little bit of money. I haven't found anything yet, but then I'm not really looking. If farming comes to the mind, yeah, I'll buy it. I don't, I don't. So, no a nice little charity shop. That's where you will find in Britain a lot of charity shops. We're going to go into the centre now. As you can see, Startford is quite easily finished. It's quite, it's, to me, it's quite small, really, to Maidstone. I do need to do that charity shop first. Actually, I will go in there before I do that way. All right, let's do that charity shop because I'm in the other shopping centre. And you see there's lines, but they're still in the way, you can't go through the way. See what they got in here. Another coffee shop, but that is definitely shut. Uh, Foreman Japanese shoe sh food shop. Uh, I'm gonna go fish way. Looks like you got JD Sports and EA and balloons. I will need to find a loo in a minute. Although like you needed to know that. Mm -hmm. I think there's a toy shop there. Well, old fashioned wooden toys and models. So, we are going in if you want to have a nose. YCM. But I will actually will go into. Right. That was a bust in both of them, but I don't. I'm not like I said. Oh, toy shop, there's definitely, oh actually, don't know what that was, looks like a toy shop. That's the entrance, and bargain buys. Right, let's go back this way. As you can see, as you can see the Halloween collections are up. Oh, now we're going fish way. Still ain't found a toilet, I'll find one eventually. Uh, another shop there, still finding the right ways. Oh, there we are, toilets over there. So I am heading the right way. New look, another dress shop, and now to go to, and a Pine Mutt entrance. Right. Well, that's Dartford done. Uh, Dartford's not like I said, not that big, so I'm going to head to Village. So I'm heading to the train station. Put some money on Mastercard and then I'm going to jump the bus. Alright, let's go to Willage. Let's hop off now. And to get to Willage, go across the bridge and it's a temporary bus stop at the moment. So, alright. How many it takes? About half an hour from here by bus, so not bad at all. So, I reckon that would take me about an hour to film, or less. Alright, let's go and film. <laughs> 